Hey there, I wanted to do a video about the differences between ponderosa pine and lodgepole pine. Those are the two main pines that we have here uh, on, on our property here. So I guess first would be a big picture. So this tree right here is a lodgepole pine. It, that's kind of what it looks like in general. And then over here, uh, this guy right here, and I guess all of these right here are ponderosas. They, that's what they look like. You can kind of tell the ponderosas seem a little bit more, uh, at least this one in particular looks more, it's got more space in between the branches than the lodgepole does over here. All right, here are the needles of the lodgepole pine. You can tell that each little uh, needle cluster has two needles per cluster. Here are the needles for the ponderosa. You can see each needle cluster has three needles. So Lodgepole has two, Ponderosa has three. Here is a Lodgepole pine cone. It's fairly small. Let's see, here's one on the ground. These pine cones are much smaller than the ponderosa pine cones. Here is the pine cone for the ponderosa. You can tell much larger than the lodgepole pine. This is the bark of the ponderosa pine. You can tell it kind of has a reddish-orange tint to the inside bark. As they start to get older, they develop more and more of an orangey tint from what I've noticed. Maybe it's not so distinct, uh, distinct right now because it's been raining here, and I think it might darken the color a little bit whenever it rains. And here's the bark of the lodgepole pine. You can tell it's a little bit more, I don't know, scaly? Not quite as bumpy though, uh, or the grooves aren't quite as deep in its bark. And it has more, more of a grayish tint to it than it does the ponderosa. Right here, is another larger lodgepole pine. As we get closer, you can tell that the bark definitely does not look nearly as orange as the ponderosas, especially as they get larger. This one in particular seems to have Still, a lot more branches than does a ponderosa. So that can help you distinguish them from farther away. And then, here is another larger ponderosa of comparable size. You can tell that the branches are much less dense. So there you go, the differences between Lodgepole and Ponderosa. Hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.